Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to be going over XYZ or Exceed Monster Ruling. So uh, basically if you have any problems on Duel Network, you can send them a link to this video and hopefully that can help you guys resolve your problems. So uh, let's go over, uh, you know, how to make an XYZ real quick because, you know, some players are just jumping into this game. <clears throat> now instead of like synchros, the, uh, the white cards, the XYZ, the black cards, instead of uh, combining the levels, you essentially um, will have to have the same levels and It'll always say on the card, like this one just requires two level four monsters. Now some of them will be specific, they require warriors and stuff like that, so keep that in mind as well. And that said, um, essentially to make a uh, XYZ, now Utopia is a pretty standard one, so uh, let's say you overlay uh, these two, they have to be the same level, and then um, they make a rank four. This is not a level four monster. So that said, what that means is, um, let's say that you have a uh, number six chronomaly Atlantis. Um, since he is rank 6, that does not count as level 6, so that's totally different. Um, essentially, XYZs don't have a level, they're just considered rank. So what that means is you cannot use things like level eater um, on uh, a, a exceed monster. Anything that requires like levels, you just can't really do because exceeds, again, just have ranks. Um, also, uh, if you did have like a fusion or a uh, ritual monster, if you know you happen to have a level 6, um, you could still uh, you know use level eater on those. Um, the easiest way is, see how um, on these cards over here, the uh, I've got the Ritual, the Fusion, and the... Uh, also, syn Synchros actually have levels here. You'll see this on the Synchros too. See how the, uh, the star in here, um, it's got an orange, it's orange, um, whereas on this, the, uh, the little circle is black. So that's just one easy way. I mean, pretty much it's just the, uh, the black card. So if it's a, a black card, that does mean that um, it is a rank card, and that means it doesn't have a level. Uh, so yeah, that's just one thing, you can't really use level eaters on XYZs. <laughs> so that said, um, let's talk about the uh, material now. Now, XYZs, um, the cards are not considered um, to be on the field, essentially. Um, so that what that means is, let's say you go to Tour Guide into Sangan. Now, Tour Guide negates Sangan's effect, however, Sangan's effect activates in the graveyard. So, um, that said, Sangan would still get its effect if it's brought up by Tour Guide. But if you use uh, Sangan as overlay material for, let's say, a wind-up Zen mains, and you detach Sangan later on, Sangan will not get its effect. Even though um, uh, Torgain negates the effect, but it happens in the graveyard, the thing is, uh, it's not considered on the field. Now, some cards are different. They just get their effects when they're sent to the graveyard, uh, regardless of where they come from. Uh, a card like that would be something like Eclipse Wyvern. Uh, Eclipse Wyvern just says, if this card is sent to the graveyard, vanish, and then you do so, you know whatever the card needs to do. Uh, Dandelion is also one of those cards which just if this card is sent to the graveyard. A great example would be, if you Foolish Burial the card, would it get its effect? Keep That's an easy way to understand um, XYZs uh, as far as materials, because again, if you Foolish Burial a Sangan, you will not get its effect. If you Foolish Burial a card like Dandelion or Eclipse Wyvern, you would get its effect. So uh, that's just an easy way to uh, understand it. Um, another thing is, um, if the uh, XYZ monster is flipped face down, um, let's say for uh, an example, Book of Moon. So you flip a Utopia face down. Um, obviously you can't use Utopia's effect because it is face down. But um, the thing is, the material does not go away. These are not like equips, because if these were considered like equips, then um, if you did Book of Moon it, then they would go away. But these are not like equip cards. They're just essentially attachments. They're a completely uh, new thing to the game. Um, uh, also, uh, one thing to go over with Utopia real quick. Let's say I have one attachment with Utopia. Let's say my opponent has a Trigodia, and they attack into my Utopia, and I go, let me negate that, because maybe they have like 10 cards in their hand, um, and I want to negate that attack. Uh, the next turn, if I don't do anything, and they go Trigodia, attack into Utopia, what would actually happen is, because Utopia has an effect when there's no material, let me just zoom in on it, okay, so it says, um, when this card is targeted for an attack while it has no XYZ materials, destroy this card. Now that happens as soon as he's targeted for an attack. So, I, my opponent goes, Trigodia, attack your Utopia. Utopia's effect would then activate, then Utopia would destroy itself. And then, now Trigodia can actually redeclare an attack because the number of monsters on the field has changed. So that means that Trigodia can now attack me directly. So that's just a, a really... Um, Easy ruling, because I've had a lot of people uh, question me on that, uh, as far as if I attack their Utopia and it has no materials, it, Utopia destroys itself, and then, since the number of monsters on the field has changed, I get to redeclare my attack. Um, another thing, uh, let's go over Monster Reborn. If I Monster Reborn, let's say, like, Utopia, let's say, like, that just happened, they, they, they attacked, uh, I negated, and um, then it had no material, then it just died. 
if I Monster Reborn, I do not get to immediately uh, add those attachments. Now, there are cards like XYZ Reborn, which is a trap card that lets you uh, get one of the cards as um, material because um, XYZ uh, Reborn counts as one of the material. So yeah, uh, just keep that in mind depending on what card is bringing it up. Um, XYZ Reborn is a card that would give you attachments, whereas Monster Reborn, if you do Monster Reborn, it'll just be a 25 attacker. Now you can um, Reborn um, XYZs, um, unless it specifically says that you cannot um, other than it's a condition. Most of the cards are just pretty much like synchros, like you can reborn them, um, but the thing with XYZs is since they don't have materials, it's not usually the best idea to uh, monster reborn them, unless you just want them for the attack. Because usually without the attachments, they don't get their effects. Now, um, that said, let's go over a few other things. So, um, one of Zen Mains is a very popular card that got a reprint, so we'll talk about him. So, uh, one thing. Um, if um, Dimensional Fissure is out on the field, uh, the cards, essentially, as attachments, will still be sent to the graveyard because they're not considered uh, monsters on the field, so they actually still go to the graveyard. But if a card like um, Banish of the Radiance is out on the field or Macro Cosmos, they will still get banished because that just banishes the cards wherever. Um, I know it's a strange ruling, but yeah, Dimensional Fissure will, will make the monsters still go to the graveyard if they're used as material, so that is something to uh, keep in mind as well. Another thing, if the card gets uh, banished... Um, and it gets returned to the field, like this would be an excellent example, Interdimension, Interdimensional Matter Transport, which is this card over here. This just says select one face of monster on your side of the field and remove it from, oh, let's get that focus, and remove it from play until the end phase of the turn this card is activated. So, if I uh, banish Zen Mains um, and it comes back, I would lose all the material from it. <laughs> and so that would be unfortunate for me, but uh, yeah, um, there's an also another card, Destiny Hero, Doom Lord. There's, I think, Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon. That's another card where it just it uh, it just banishes the card, then it comes back, and that really is what kills X Y Zs. If you just banish it and uh, you know um, it comes back, it does not get the material. But if it is face down, it'll still keep the material. So yeah, that is uh, just always something to keep in mind. I hope this helps you guys out with um, some rulings as far as X Y Zs because uh, I know a lot of people have been uh, messaging me on questions, especially about that whole Utopia thing. Like I mentioned uh, earlier, when it has no attachments, you get to still actually attack directly then, basically. Um, but keep in mind, if, well, I'm trying to give another example. Um, if there's like another monster on the field, um, let's say there's a huge monster on the field, like uh, something that w is like over Trigodia, if I declare my attack with Trigodia and, um, you know, Utopia it gets destroyed, since I get to redeclare my attack with Utopia, uh, with my Trigodia, or my opponent would get to redeclare their attack with Trigodia, they have to actually attack with Trigodia uh, first before they can, uh, well, they actually get to decide if they want to attack first with Trigodia um, before they start declaring attacks with other monsters. So let's say they had a 3,000 monster in, like, Trigodia, uh, that would make it so, like, they, they could not attack with the other monster and then attack with Trigodia directly. So that is also something to keep in mind. Uh, when you get to redeclare your attack, you either get to attack or you don't attack with that monster, and then that monster can no longer attack during that turn. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. That's also important as well. But yeah, basically just, uh, it'll help you guys out know where uh, the cards go, essentially. Uh, and some cards do get their effects, uh, because again, uh, it's just like Foolish Burial. If you Foolish Burial Eclipse Wyvern or Dandelion, uh, they would still get their effects, because it's just, whenever the card is sent from the... Uh, uh, just sent to the graveyard, regardless of where it comes from. Where Sangan, it specifically says on the card, which I'll zoom in on, when it says, this card says, when this card is sent from the fields of the graveyard. XYZs, um, they do not consider um, monsters on the field. So yeah, they're, they're a little bit different, and you'll have to uh, kind of uh, play around with, uh, you know, them and uh, see essentially how they work. And I hope this helps you guys out, especially resolve rulings on Dueling Network. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.